hello again. We're going to make chocolate fudge cake today. Very moist and delicious. Grab a cup of coffee or hot cocoa or tea or whatever you want to drink and join me. All right, here's the ingredients for the chocolate fudge cake. We've got two cups of sugar. We've got one cup of special dark cocoa. One tablespoon of baking soda. Two eggs. I have them at room temperature. And first I put them in water because if they float they're bad. So, and two and a half cups of flour. And I sifted this. If I have a sifter, but if you don't have a sifter, you can always use one of these. One cup calls for one cup of buttermilk, but I have never used buttermilk. I use one cup of milk. And I leave a little leeway to pour some lemon juice in it and I let that sit and see that's formed buttermilk. And one tablespoon of vanilla. One cup of oil. One half teaspoon of salt. And in the very end you add one cup of boiling water. All right, let's get this put together. Okay, so first we're going, I'm gonna put the sugar in. Dump the cocoa in. One tablespoon of baking soda. I'm just gonna give this a, just a little stir just to mix it up here. Just to get it all really don't have to, but I like to. Now I'm going to add the eggs. cake is very delicious but I have I have been warned about people who love it that um, not to eat it after 6 p.m. because they've stayed up all night after eating it now I'm just going to give this uh, just a little bit of a stir here good. Now I'm going to add the flour. One cup of buttermilk. One tablespoon of vanilla. One cup of oil, one half teaspoon of salt. I'm going to put this in the microwave to get the water. Now, while the water is boiling, I'm going to give this a good mix here.
whoops, really thick until you put the water in. Sides a little scrape here. Okay, now the water is boiling, so I'm just going to dump that in. The batter is, is quite thin. I'm going to give a little bit more. Just a little bit of a scrape. It's very easy to make. And it's so delicious. It's a very moist cake. Okay. I found this recipe in an old church cookbook. Been making it for years and years. See, it's very good. Now we are going to I got my favorite cake pan that I use every time. And Put it in the oven on 350. Give it some time to warm up. And the recipe says 35 minutes, but you have to go by your oven and, of course, test it until it comes out clean in the center of the cake. You can use a knife or a toothpick or cake tester. But my oven, I, it's like exactly 45 minutes for my oven. So what I usually do, this can get loud, but usually I... Just to get the bubbles out. Just a little bit of the bubbles. Okay, now we'll put that in the oven and we'll come back and make the frosting. All right, while the cake is in the oven, we are going to make frosting. Now, I've never used measured, so we're gonna just go with wing this and I put a whole softened butter, I put a whole stick in there. And 
let me just start out here with powdered sugar. That's one cup. Two cups. That's three and a half cups. And I'm going to start out with about one half cup of cocoa. Now this cocoa is not the dark. This is the regular. And you can also, I have used um, peanut butter frosting where I, I eliminate the butter and just put peanut butter in there and the powdered sugar. Okay, now I'm going to get the vanilla and the milk. I'm going to put about a teaspoon of vanilla in it. Sorry about that. Let's start with a half a cup of milk. We'll see it. We use it all. My dog always has to tell me when there's cars out on the street. Okay, let's start mixing this up a little bit. that butter good and mixed in a little bit. It's got some big clumps in it, but that'll all that'll all get creamy in the end. Let's start adding some milk. A little at a time. Starting to form on the paddle there. But you can always add, if you get too much milk, you can always add more powdered sugar. I'm going to want it just a little drop more of milk. And I'm going to give it a little, scrape it down a little bit. This is looking really good. Sorry, 
sorry about that. I bumped the camera. Okay, now I'm going to give it... I'm going to turn it up on high. Okay, this looks good. It's very fluffy. I like to give it, do it on high for a little bit so that it's nice and, and creamy and fluffy. See, it should be. And you can also, like when I top this, um, you can put coconut on top, nuts. Um, chopped nuts. Like I said, I do um, the peanut butter, like I said, sometimes. My kids used to like that because it was like a racist peanut butter cup. Yeah, this should be good. I usually make way too much frosting and end up eating it, and I don't want to do that. So, all right, we'll wait for the cake to come out and cool, and then we can frost it. Let's frost this now. It's cooled down enough. Just gonna plop it down here. Frosting knives are really, really nice. Really nice. If you don't, you can use a regular knife, like a table knife. And just spread it out. I usually like to start in the center because like, sometimes the cake has a dip in the center, so. Looking good. Great. Sometimes I need a little bit of water to, but I didn't this time. So, and this of course is finger licking good right here. Doesn't that look delicious? Okay, let's cut it up and see what we got here. Take this one out. Oh yeah. 
that's it right there. Here it is. Delicious chocolate cake. Just imagine some vanilla ice cream cuddled up to next to this pillow of chocolate. Yummy. Thanks for joining me. Stay busy and serve others.